Create a custom form with user profile photo, a read-only field and conditionally visible field. This is a SharePoint list having some random data with a title and a person column respectively. To create and manage flows for a list or a library, from the command bar on the list or library page, select Integrate Power Apps Customize Form. The Power App Studio appears and loads your form onto the canvas. If the Welcome to Power App Studio dialog box opens, select Skip. Add a user profile photo. On the Insert tab, select Media Image. An image control named Image 1 is added to the canvas. Customize the height of image same as the owner data card 1. With Image 1 selected, in the formula bar, change the property to height and enter this formula. Set the width of Image 1 to be the same as its height. In the formula bar, change the property to width and enter this formula. Make Image 1 into a circle. In the Properties pane, enter a value that is half the height value in the Border Radius property. Place Image 1 on the canvas in your desired location. To change the image of Image 1 from the sample image to the project owner's profile photo, you can use the Office 365 Users Connector to retrieve the photo by the owner's email. To retrieve the project owner's profile photo by email, in the formula bar, Change the property to image and enter this formula. The image of user appears. To make the title field view only select title data card, toggle properties to advance and select unlock. Toggle back to the properties pane and select the display mode field, enter the formula. Set the value of display mode to view. Set the visibility of a field based on a condition. Select attachments, toggle the properties pane to the advanced pane and select Unlock to manage properties. Toggle back to the Properties pane and select the visible field. The formula bar updates to display this property. In the formula bar, enter the following formula. Attachment data card is hidden when name of the owner is mentioned, otherwise it is visible. After you save the app, select Publish to SharePoint. In SharePoint, verify the intended functionality of your app.